thank you, Maury. First of all, I want to thank Maury. Um, I've been coming to this meeting for quite a few years, and to watch it grow and watch our community grow is very exciting, and really to the hard work of the people at ARM when they were pioneers in pulling us all together, and I just say thank you. Um, I'm pleased to show you my forward-looking statement slide. We are now a public company. No, most people won't say that. We're approaching the stem cell field a little bit differently from a lot of the speakers here. Um, we're taking it a step back. We were founded by Jamie Thompson, who was one of the first people to culture, isolate uh, human pluripotent stem cells. So I want to just take us back for a second here. The human cell is the basic functioning operating unit of human biology. But what we all sort of forget during, the, during this meeting is that human operating system, our cells, are not widely available to human to research community, either for in vitro research, like what Jason said a few minutes ago, talked about a few minutes ago, or in vivo research. In other words, using those cells therapeutically. Because you can't get them uh, until CDI, you couldn't get them in a standardized, manufactured way. And what our business is about, what our company is about, is manufacturing human cells in standardized human cells, human cells to a spec in the quality, quantity, purity that serves the needs of the research community and eventually the therapeutic community too. And our goal is, is to set that a very high bar, a high standard for the industry in, the, in, the manu in manufactured cells. Now a little background on us. As Maury said, we went public July 25th. We trade under the symbol iCell. Uh, we were taken public by J.P. Morgan, one of the leading banks in the field. And what our mission is, is to be the high volume developer and manufacturer of standardized, fully functioning human cells. And we want to manufacture our cells, or we do manufacture our cells, to a tight industrial standard so that you get the same cell every time. And we, use it, we do it on the IPS platform because that allows you to get any cell basically from anyone. Um, our business model is a little unusual. It's the iCell operating system. In other words, we just manufacture the cells. It's an operating system for other scientists, for the people in this room, the companies in this room, for them to innovate on. And that we think that this operating system, or we're working very hard for this operating system concept to transform the way we do cell uh, research, drug discovery research. Uh, Jason was up here talking about how he's trying to push that through at GSK. To do in vivo cell cellular therapeutics. There's a researcher here uh, today, uh, Jason Wertheim. I don't know if Jason's sitting in the audience right now, but he's using our cells to try to repopulate uh, livers, to, to literally grow human livers. And then, of course, stem cell banking. I, I see Ellen here. Uh, we're building a 3,000 uh, person stem cell bank for the uh, California Institute of Regenerative Medicine. We think we're the leader in the field. Uh, last year we had 128 customers. We sold our product to 18 of the 20 top biopharma companies in the world. Um, something that people don't talk about a lot here, but the patent space here is very complex. We have over 700 patents and patent applications, um, and, and we'll talk about how we use that for the benefit of our customers. We have a commercial team that have been there, done that before. As you can see, I'm losing my hair. We're, we're all old guys and have done this. And importantly, over the, since we started the company in 2004, we've raised over $170 million on this manufacturing mission. We have 125 people working on this. Um, as I said, Jamie Thompson's our founder. I, I want to focus on the platform we work on. There's two steps to it. One, we can go from any cell type. We use peripheral, peripheral blood. In fact, we pioneered the method for making embryonic, uh, I induced pluripotent stem cells from that. Once you have that stem cell line, it becomes the feedstock for a manufacturing process to manufacture virtually any cell in the human body. And it's really this IPS uh, model that uh, Jamie and Shinya published on the same day. Uh, that enables industrial scale manufacturing, and that's what we're all about. Um, from a, I'm a business guy. What excites us about this is this huge product matrix. Every cell in the human body on the y-axis by every person on the planet on the x-axis. And um, 
That's a really exciting product opportunity, and, and by staying focused on manufacturing that product opportunity, we're trying to bring that to the community. Um, but it's not enough to have the, the actual world-class um, technology. You have to marry it to a world-class manufacturing capability. And um, we have, we, we've, we build ourselves to tight specifications. So first you've got to be able to take one person's IPS line and manufacture it into the various cell types you want to make. But that's not enough. To really meet that product matrix, you have to do that same capability person after person, IPS after IPS line, and um, our manufacturing team has done both the uh, the, the one, you know, from one person and then the same cells from multiple people. And as you can see, some of the metrics, 70 billion IPS Cs a month, okay? We're doing this at a scale that we think is unprecedented. Um, I'm going to just talk about intellectual property for a moment. We have over 700 patents protecting the process that we manufacture from, but most importantly, we, by having those, those are, the customer has the benefit of that. In other words, when our customers use our cells, they know that, they can, that they're protected by our, their discoveries are protected by our 700 patents. And we continue to um, uh, not in license heavily. We'll buy anybody's useful patents. We'll, we'll license them. And um, we're, we're putting out our own. Um, our earlier people talked about that they were using the episomal method to to create their IPS lines. We, we got a patent on on October 1st. We were the first company to actually do episomal reprogramming and Jamie published it and it's now widely used because it's a great methodology for um, therapeutic use. Um, we have three product types. We call the first product our iCell products. That's a standardized human cell from a, um, I'd say a standardized human background. One, one human background. And then we have our MyCell products where we'll build IPS lines to our that our customers want if they give us the sample. And then we can manufacture our own, any one of our products off of that, any one of our iCell products from that IPS. We also have put out media and reagents. We use uh, Life Technologies, our distributor. But as you can see, top companies in the world um, are using our products. Get Jason was up here a little while ago talking about how they're standardizing on, the, on our platform. Um, here's the products we have in the market today. We have human cardiomyocyte, human cortical forebrain neuron, human hepatocytes, human endothelial cells. In other words, you give us an IPS background and um, we can manufacture any of these. And we, we, we do these all to spec for the customer. Um, we also have seven more products under development today. I'm not going to walk you through all of them. Many of them already in customers' hands, working with them, because we, every one of our products is, the, is developed in a feedback system with key customers to make sure we're manufacturing the product that works for them. And if you look at every one of these cell types, our, most of our revenues to date uh, um, have been in the in vitro use of our cells. But every one of those cell types have therapeutic use, too. Um, when we talk about uh, our products, the, it's not enough to just manufacture the cells. You have to have a full product solution. And um, so examples, when we ship our cells, they're cryopreserved. So that means we can inventory them and the customer can use them on their own schedule. Um, we send it with the media, user's guide, warranty, just like any other standardized product. And then um, we have a very, uh, uh, Chris Parker, our chief commercial officer is here and he's really done all this, but we have, our products are supported by tech support, by application specialists, um, we have an annual users group meeting, all the things you need for the, to make the product easy to use by the customer. And again, uh, I just want to highlight one more time, over 700 patent and patent applications, that's a product attribute for the benefit of our customers. We have a direct sales force, 26 people out there working with the customers, making sure our products do well, and then most, in, and then also very importantly, um, the, our cells are validated on the equipment, the processes that our customers use for their uh, drug discovery. Um, 
big markets available to us in the in vitro market, three and a half billion dollars spent on cells today. We come in there with a better cell system that's more predictive. A billion point three spent on cell banking and tissue banking. We come in there with a better solution. And then, though, as we know in this meeting, $5 billion spent on cell therapy. And that's a, all these markets are fragmented. We're coming in with a high quality manufactured solution. Now we have a unique business model here that our our business model, our first target market for this manufacturing capability is the in vitro market. In other words, the use of cells in 96 well plates by companies, mainly pharma, to do drug discovery. But by having been successful there, by having 18 to 20 top biopharma companies, by having Jason, who we love, come up here and talk about us, we've established our, our capability and our, and our ability to serve the customer need, and that helped us that's helping us move into the second market, stem cell banking, where we just won a, a very large award from the, thank you, California Institute of Regenerative Medicine. We're actually setting up a facility here for them. Because they, they knew that we had proven our ability to commercially scale for the really big project. And then we're taking that, that into, we, haven't, we don't have customers here yet, but we do have collaborators, into cell therapeutic research and eventually into the clinic. Um, I'm not going to dwell on these slides because I, I don't want to run over, but the point here is our iCell operating system, it, we have customers using our system, getting improved results in their discovery. In Tox, Jason talked about it. There's also a paper published by Roche that shows that our cardiomyocytes are highly predictive of cardiotox toxicity in vitro, and that's one of the major reasons drugs fail. In drug discovery, um, our cells are helping you look, helping pharma look into diseases that they couldn't look at before. Um, one of our first shipments of our iCell neuron pros, product was shipped to uh, China, cryopreserved, used by the GSK, GSK Discovery Neurogenerative Discovery Unit there, one of Jason's groups. And uh, they published uh, nine months later that they found four novel or multiple novel mechanisms of action for Alzheimer's having screen compounds on iCell neurons. And in the article literally said this would have been impossible but for the commercial availability of, a, of, of you know, standardized cortical neurons. Um, stem cell banking, okay, our, our approach, our standards, our quality control, our QA, QC, really set us apart, and we were fortunate to uh, win this very large grant from the California Institute of Regenerative Medicine. We're going to make, uh, it's a, there's a $16 million grant. We're also the prime subcontractor on a second grant with Cor that went to Coriel um, for $10 million, and uh, for, the, for the state of California, we're going to build, we're going to make 9,000 stem cell lines from 3,000 individuals. And these are all for, uh, uh, genetically, uh, genetic diseases that the community in California, that the state of California wanted to have a bank to make available to researchers. And then cell therapy research, as I mentioned before, our cells are going into the customer's hands. There's a researcher at the University of Arizona who's made, in, who's made a beating uh, cardiac patch that he's testing an infarcted mouse model today. So my, my, my basic point here is standardized, manufactured human cells are a reality today. CDI makes that available, and there's lots of valid, validation scientifically of us. I know I didn't go through it today, but there's over 25 papers already published utilizing our platform for new discovery. So Maury, thank you again. Great meeting, and thank everyone.